Hello, it is so good to see you. I am back from London and so glad to be here. We missed last week, you know, because I was in London. I took that week off. I rarely do that, but I am so grateful to you for showing up today. I've got a real treat for you today as we look into early fall, transitioning into fall and getting our wardrobes ready so that you can look stylish, you can feel good, but you won't be hot, right? You don't want to be hot in early fall. My name is Kay and this this is dress for my day and I show up here every Wednesday I did take off last week as I was in London but that is so rare because every Wednesday I show up here to encourage women over 50 to get dressed for your day in a way that feels authentic to you that's a little stylish and a little modern so that you can be taken seriously when you step out into your world I believe that we ladies over 50 still have so much to contribute the people in our lives are counting on us they want to hear from us they want to see us they want us to participate in their lives so we need to get dressed for our day so that we can do that now today's goal is simply to get us ready for early fall you know the transitional periods of dressing that you know between uh, I'd say winter and spring and then again between summer and fall to me is some of the most frustrating times to dress for can I get an amen? <laughs> it's just hard. We're ready to dress for the next season, but the weather is all over the place. Today, we've got some really nice weather. I think it's the high 70s, so that's really great. But next week, we're expecting the 90s again. So as we move closer to true fall, we're still gonna have those heat waves. We're gonna have some chilly days. We're gonna have some days that start off nice and cool, but by the afternoon, we're back up in the 80s, right? So how do you dress for that? Well, I think there are just a few things you need in your closet so that you can put together fall-ish, fall-like outfits, but still feel cool, still feel, you know, really not overdressed and still feel like yourself. So I'm gonna share with you 10 wardrobe essentials that I think you need for early fall and transitioning into fall. Now, these are gonna work differently in your wardrobe than they do mine. I'm trying to show you lots of options. And in the description box below, right this minute, I've got my assistant working on finding me lots of links to, to all of these things in different price points and at the retailers that you like to shop. So you'll have links below to everything that I'm showing you if you notice that there is a hole in your wardrobe. But my bet is a lot of these things are there. You just need to pull them to the front of your closet. And I'm gonna make a mental note that these are the best outfit makers for early fall. Let's get started on that list. The first thing you're gonna to want to have in your closet for early fall are some good lightweight utility pants, um, I guess you cargo pants, those sorts, you know, lightweight. You could wear chinos if you like, but I tell you what, these cargo pants and utility pants, the ones with some pockets and maybe some, you know, features on them, like these particular ones are from Kohl's. They have a little zip at the ankle. They have a little bit of elasticize at the hem there. I've styled these in a blog post. I'm gonna link you to that blog post down below and I'm showing you some pictures here, but these are great great little lightweight utility pants from Kohl's. Now I'm gonna show you a few other ones too. These are the ones I wore in London. I'm, they're going into the laundry right after this. So uh, they are, let's see, I think they are by Agolde. I'm not really sure I'm pronouncing that right. Agold, I'm not sure how you say that. They are a little pricey. They come in several colors. I can give you a link. I think Bloomingdale's had them on sale. These were so comfortable, lightweight, straight leg uh, utility pants. I actually kind of a cropped length cargo pant that I wore a lot in London, loved wearing those. Now here's another option. These are from J. Crew. They are a full length utility pant. You see they've got some cargo pockets here on the side, you know, pockets in the back. And here on the front, we have that little pocket. So a nice green. I think these also come in a more traditional khaki. I love wearing these. The point simply is you want some lightweight utility pants, cargo pants, something really casual, but a little bit elevated to wear for early fall. The reason I say that is I'm gonna show you some jeans, but you know sometimes it's those lighter weight pants that you can wear, you won't be so hot, you'll feel a little bit more fallish. 
and I think you'll really like the way those work for you. So, you know, choose your colors carefully. I like having some black ones. I've got some black ones on today, and they are from Anthropology. I'll see if they're still available. They're actually, I think, a linen and cotton blend, and so they're really nice, lightweight, and I will continue to wear them into the fall. Now, the next thing on my list, though, is a cropped length jean. Now I like cropped length jeans. I think they are so in style, so fashionable. These are from Madewell. I did a blog post with these. I'm giving you some pictures here of that. And they are a nice full leg, I guess a wide leg actually, but a cropped length pant. So just having that little bit of air <laughs> around your ankles, that wider leg, this makes that pant a little bit more breathable. Madewell jeans are kind of heavy, so these are a little thicker than some jeans, but because they're a wide leg, because they're cropped, I think they still feel cool and comfortable. And these are the kind that I'll be reaching for in early fall as we transition into fall. So those are the first two pairs of, that's all the pants I think I would need is one or two pairs of those utility pants, maybe one or two jeans too. Now, another great thing to have in your closet, especially this year, because they are so on trend, is a denim skirt. This denim skirt, I've actually not shown it yet anywhere, uh, so I'll have to do a little modeling here. This one is from Kohl's, and I've had a, a kind of a hard time finding, that what's trending is the midi length denim skirt, so like below the knee and everything, with a little slit either in the front or the back. Sometimes that deconstructed jeans look is what's going on, like the one I'm showing you here. And I love that skirt, and I love my skirt also from a CJ Crew. It's going in and out, in and out as far as availability, but I am linking to that one below. But this one from Kohl's is such a sweet price and it is a great little skirt. Now it is a junior, I think, and so junior sizing. So I did size up in this just because it is junior sizing, but it's a great little skirt. A denim skirt is gonna be so versatile for this early fall because you can simply wear it with a t-shirt like I'm wearing today. You could add some of the other things I'm going to show you. Let's see, you could also wear it with a button-up shirt. I'm gonna show you that too. So many ways to style this as you're transitioning into fall. And you know what, if you wanna keep wearing those sandals because that's just the way the weather is where you are, that's fine. I would probably swap to some darker sandals like cognac or black or something like that. Really gonna look great with that denim skirt. The next thing you want in your closet for early fall is something you should just really almost have in your closet all the time, and that is a white t-shirt. Now I'm showing you two. I actually have on one and then this one here. This one is a J. Crew uh, vintage crew neck, and I'm really loving it. I took this one to uh, London, and I actually already just washed this, just came straight out of the dryer. And I love this little t-shirt, so soft, so comfortable, fits true to size. Then I'm wearing a V-neck, I think this one is by Everlane. And so just a V-neck and a crew neck, I think are so smart to have at this time of year because you're going to be able to layer these with some of the things I'm about to show you, wear them by their, yourselves. Just, you know, really, I think one of the keys to creating great outfits this time of year is to keep it simple. You wanna do start doing some layering, so that's fine, but really, when I just keep it simple, I feel so great in early fall. The next piece I suggest that you pull to the front of your closet is one that maybe you bought back in the spring, like I bought this. Uh, this is a cotton sweater, a cotton you know, pullover sweater from Jenny Kane, but you can find similar sweaters at Quince at J. Crew, other places. Now, they may not be having a, a lot of availability right now because mostly they sell these in the spring. You know, early spring, we're selling, we get uh, our cotton sweater, but I just want you to pull it back to the front of your closet. You wore it in the spring, pull it back up to the front of your closet or your shelf or wherever you have it. And this is a good time to wear these. It's a little too warm right now to wear wool or maybe real heavy cashmere or alpaca, but that cotton sweater is gonna be perfect. And you can layer it over things too, like you can just drape it around your shoulders, gives it that autumnal look <laughs> to your outfit without adding a lot of heat, without adding a lot of bulk to your outfit. 
Now, because these are really trending too, I had to include vest. And I just have two sweater vests so far. One is a pullover and one is a button up. And both of these are from J. Crew. I've really enjoyed styling these sweater vests already. They're both very lightweight. They are cashmere. I actually wore them both in London. I guess, I think it was like in the 70s. He maybe even got up to 80 degrees or so. And I felt very comfortable. They work really nicely over just a plain t-shirt and you could even wear it over a tank top if you want to, or of course you could wear them over a long sleeve t-shirt or something. They're really versatile and they look great with these utility pants, chino pants, whatever, the jeans and the denim skirt. So they're just gonna give you a lot of versatility, give you that layered look without adding a lot, once again, a lot of bulk or a lot of heat to your outfit. The next thing I think you need in your closet for early fall as you're transitioning to the fall season is a button-up shirt. Now this is always a good idea. A button-up shirt is a classic, but right now they're what we're having a moment as we say. And you're gonna look so in style if you wear a, a button-up shirt. And what's really on trend is kind of an oversized button-up shirt. And I'm also seeing a lot of cropped length button-up shirts. And that doesn't mean they have to show your midriff or anything like that because most of the jeans and pants I'm seeing these days are still a high waist or a mid waist, mid rise. And so if you wear a cropped length a button up shirt over, it's still gonna cover your waistband. And those just really give you those great proportions. I don't have one of those yet, but just a great button up shirt is gonna really work nicely. You can tuck it in the front, you can tuck it all over, you can do a little cross tuck. So many different ways you can wear that shirt. That for sure, this one is by Citizens of Humanity. It's their Kayla shirt. And it really is, I think, I think if I have to choose, it's probably my favorite because it has this really cool little function here where you can see I'm buttoning up the sleeves. They have little buttons up the sleeves so that you can button it up. You get that little scrunched look with security that it's not gonna come down. Really great functionality. Plus this shirt just feels so good. It's, it's like the best feeling button up shirt I have, I think. Maybe other than my Frank and Eileen one, which I don't even have one of those out here. This one is from J. Crew. I just want you to see that a striped shirt, a print shirt, those are fine too. If that works better with your style aesthetic and you just like a, a little bit of color, maybe a stripe or a print is really nice. And if you're someone who doesn't like the crispness of these shirts, you don't like something quite that, you know, I don't know, maybe you think it's stiff or it's too crunchy <laughs> on your skin. This is one that I found by Cloth and Stone. And I don't know if you can see, but it is just soft, kind of like a t-shirt fabric almost, but it's a button up shirt with a collar. Um, and you know, I've got a little, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> A pocket and uh, you can roll up the sleeves and everything really nice in the back so this is just another alternative if maybe this is more your style that little bit more casual look a little bit more just kind of an easygoing feel I'll link you to this one below too so those are the shirt options a t-shirt we got a cotton sweater we have these vests we have button-up shirts you could of course throw in some graphic t-shirts and other types of t-shirts too but I I think these are the ones that are essential to really help you create some great transitional outfits as we're moving towards fall. Let's talk third, you know, third pieces or layering. We want to start doing some layering at this time of year, right? But it's still kind of warm outside. So we've got to be kind of careful about that. I do think a denim jacket is always a good option. I saw so many people in London, including my travel mates, wearing a denim jacket with just a pair of black pants and a white t-shirt. I mean, you just can't go wrong with that. So it just looks so great. And you know, you can even also wear a denim jacket, of course, with a dress. I saw so many people in London wearing dresses and sneakers and a denim jacket, maybe just draped over their shoulder. Such a versatile piece. Um, I love having a denim jacket in my wardrobe. I've had one for over 30 years, a Levi's jacket. And this one I bought recently, it's just another Levi's jacket because I love them so much. Now, a blazer is also a great idea if you love blazers. Blazers continue to be on trend. They continue to be really stylish. 
the kind of oversized or you know relaxed fit is still very on trend, but we're also starting to see a resurgence of the more tailored blazers too, as that tailored aesthetic is really on style. Remember a couple of weeks ago in my video, I talked about the fall fashion trends, and one of those is that great tailored look, just really nice tailoring in your outfit is so on trend right now. So adding a blazer, maybe you have a lightweight one, maybe you still have a linen blazer uh, from summer, but you haven't worn it much because it's been so warm, so hot, pull it out now, wear it over a t-shirt, or even wear it over a tank top. I would not put my tank tops away yet, especially if you want to do some layering. And then my last piece, or my last, before, what well, got one more actually, but the last piece of clothing that I wanted to share with you that I think is essential because they're so on trend, is a trench coat. A lightweight trench coat like this one. Now this one is lined, it's by Sam Edelman. This one is almost sold out, but I noticed they came out with another one that's just a little different. It just doesn't have the little, these aren't even real epaulettes, but it doesn't have those in the new one. But it's still a great little trench. And these are so on trend right now. Plus it's a classic, so you cannot go wrong buying you a somewhat traditional looking trench coat like this one. This particular trench coat is rain resistant, not waterproof, but rain resistant. They aren't all rain coats, so keep that in mind. But I think a trench coat is such a great way to elevate your outfit. Anytime you add a little bit of structure to an outfit, like a blazer or a trench coat, you're going to elevate your look a little bit. So even just wearing these black pants, a white t-shirt, and that trench coat looks so sharp. Or you can wear the jeans, white t-shirt, trench coat sneakers so so smart and so to me a trench coat is really one of the preferable jackets for this fall because it's going to elevate your look now yeah if you have a utility jacket in your closet from the past definitely pull it out and wear it but really what's going to be more on trend this fall is this trench coat the other thing I wanted to mention that I think you really need in your closet for this early fall is the right footwear. So definitely wear those sneakers. I think this is a great time to wear your white leather sneakers or maybe those retro sneakers are so on trend this fall. So go ahead and pull them out, wear them with your utility pants, wear them with your jeans, wear them with your jean skirt, wear them with a dress, you name it. Sneakers are going to look great and so on trend for early fall. But another shoe that I think, or two I guess, that I think will really help make your outfits look more autumnal again, is either and or a loafer or a mule. So a mule really is kind of like a loafer's cousin, I guess. It's kind of like it's the loafer without the heel, right? Um, either one just looks a little bit like you're going back to school, right? You're going back to, you know, just, I don't know, back to school. <laughs> You're not going back to school. Maybe you are. I don't know, but that just has that look, you know So this loafer is from Everlane. They still have it. These are three years old. I think maybe even four A great little loafer. I think they call it the modern loafer I've had this like I said for four years three years and I still wear them. They are so comfortable I think they may come in black too and then this mule I got the Nordstrom anniversary sale It's by Linnea Paolo and I can highly recommend it. It also comes in a beautiful cognac which I just might order because I love it so much. But adding a mule to your outfit, so instead of wearing your sandals, if you wanna wear your sandals, go ahead and do that. I, I just don't think there's anything wrong with it. But if you're really trying to look a little bit more autumnal, maybe it is a little chilly outside, you're ready to put your sandals away. These are the shoes plus the sneakers that I would be reaching for in this early fall period. In fact, these are the shoes that you need to wear now because as it gets into the cooler months, you know, winter, you're probably not going to wear them as much. So this is the time to wear those mules and loafers and sneakers. So those are the essentials that I think you need in your closet for early fall as we transition. And you'll be able to put together some great outfits, just like the ones I've been showing you, but ones that really reflect your personal style and that work 
work for your lifestyle. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Remember, there are links below to all of these items plus more of them. I've had my assistant round up lots of denim skirts, lots of ankle length jeans, lots of utility pants, vests, you name it. And so they're all below in a full range of prices. And I hope you enjoy shopping those if you need to fill any of the holes in your own closet as you head into fall. Thanks so much for joining me today, ladies. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a thumbs up, spread the word, tell a friend about my YouTube channel. I would love that. Follow me on Instagram and visit me at my blog. I've got so much great content there. In fact, I'm sharing with you later this week how I dressed in London. I'll see you again next Wednesday. Bye now.